So we've got a question from a viewer in Meeker County who wants to know, what about recreational marijuana? What's going to happen there in this session? Uh, let's start with you, Representative. Yeah, I, I, I have told everybody that ever asked along the way for the last couple of years that it is time now for us to have a robust discussion about this topic. Personally, I don't know that I have drawn opinion myself. I think that there are, I, I only would know that there are fairly strong opinions on both sides. I think that the people that believe for have very well thought out, very well constructed um, thoughts in terms of why it would be important culturally for us to move forward with that. But I do think it's still an open question. I don't know that I have heard anything yet, particularly in this legislature, where it appears that there is something coming that would be um, a decision coming along. Recreational marijuana, Senator? Yeah, I do think, too, that the time has come for us to really engage in this conversation and make a decision. Uh, it is, however, a very polarizing issue, and it's a, you know we're very divided on, mm -hmm. on this issue, so I, I just really don't know what the outcome will be if we bring it forward this time. In fact, there are so many issues that we think we agree on, and we've mm -hmm. not been able to move it forward, so I think mm -hmm. this is not going to be one of them. I think there were a couple of proposals that uh, were very interesting in the Senate. Senator Franzen really wanted to engage in the conversation to see where we need to go to really open the conversation um, and uh, get the public really more informed about what's going on and other legislators. And unfortunately, I think the, the door was not even closed for that in the Senate. So in the Senate, very definitely it's not going to happen. I think it's very difficult to move it forward this year. Representative Grunhagen? Yeah, I would agree. I don't see it happening this year. I, I actually find myself in agreement with the former governor of California, Jerry Brown, who I don't agree with on hardly anything. He's an ultra left-wing uh, uh, progressive Democrat. But he, if you do your research, uh, you'll find that he, after they've legalized uh, recreational marijuana in California, he made the statement after a period of time, I don't, and I'm paraphrasing a little bit, I don't know if we can have a great state if half the population is on dope, okay? So check that out, and I, you know, again, I tend to agree with them. It's uh, one more uh, inhibiting, or, uh, inhibiting, and uh, there's all types of medical consequences, psychosis, uh, we need to look at the states that have done this and the medical consequences, also the uh, impairment driving. And, you know, we just passed a cell phone bill uh, to, pro to pro prohibit people from having a cell phone in their hand because of the distraction. I don't know if we need to have uh, another substance to cause uh, inebriated uh, driving in this state. And just as a practical matter, it's unlikely, given the limited time left, that we're going to see anything. Isn't that pretty much where we're at? Yep. Stay tuned. Come back to us next year. We'll talk about it then. Yeah.